y'all this is Ivy and today I'm coming on here to do a quick get ready with me video I'm gonna be doing my hair and my makeup and I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a girl chat I'm gonna try to do a girl chat so y'all see the footage it's really hard for me to like talk hold a conversation while I'm trying to do my makeup and hair but I did okay I think so if you guys want to see how I did this really simple everyday look and how I refreshed and did my curls keep on watching so right now my hair looking crazy I'm gonna, and this time I was going to do the video in my bathroom because I do have to do my hair and I need to be by my sink so I was just like I'll move my camera in the bathroom because you know I have a pretty big bathroom and if you guys hear echoes it's because my ceilings are a little high so bear with me with that and right right now I don't have any makeup I did my eyebrows already for the sake of time. And I'm just gonna uh, just do my basic makeup that I always do. First thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And this is just a long time favorite of mine. It just helps me keep my eyelids not um, oily and help my eyeshadow last a lot longer. I'm gonna be using my eyeshadow in soft brown just to apply all over my lid and up to the brow. This is what I do on a daily basis, just my everyday look. And rather than using like the eyeshadow brush, I like to use my fluffy blending brush. And this will just give me like a wash of color all over my lid. I want to ask you guys how to like the uh, the toy video. That was pretty different and I just wanted to come on here to share that with you guys. Cause I thought it was really fun. Um, I used to do girl talks about sex and all this stuff. Somehow I always fall off the little paths of me doing something. So doing that video was really different for me. It was kind of uncomfortable, but it was fun at the same time, you know? Just giving you guys a little information about all that type of stuff. Cause I honestly you guys been buying stuff like that for a long time now. So that's just added to my collection. And I really wanted to do it just to let you guys uh, know because I had that 50% off discount code. Toys are a lot of money, so a 50% off code was like, it was it was love. So I had to let you guys know about it. I've seen a couple of other ladies do it and I'm going to pick up some more stuff on my own or whatever and do a video about it. But uh, how do you guys feel? Sorry, it's like hella hard to talk doing eyeliner. How do you guys feel about like um, sponsored videos and free stuff that we YouTubers get and do? Um, you know, it seems like it seems like honestly everybody is mad at us for doing just like sponsored videos. But um, honestly, com companies contact us and we do the videos to give you guys information. Like, no one is dying for the free sponsorships, okay? We do the videos for you guys so you can, you know, see them and just find out about new products. It's almost like people get mad at YouTubers. Like I was saying, it's almost like people are angry that we do sponsored videos, but... But if you guys think about it, everything that you look at or buy or whatever is sponsored. Like when you watch commercials or look at magazines, half of the reviews or half of the feedback or articles or commercials are sponsored things. So just because we do sponsored videos doesn't mean we aren't giving our honest opinion. So I just want to get that out there. That's one of the biggest myths about YouTube that people think... You know, just because we get free items, we're just going to say whatever the company wants us to say. I always let people know, if you send me an item, be prepared. If it's like bad, like horrible, like shitty, I won't even try to do it. But I'm doing my wing liner with my Kat Von D tattoo liner. And this is my favorite eyeliner. And you guys, I'm very aware of my channel and what I'm known for, obviously hair. But it's other things that I can do as well. So if I do videos on other things, like that's fine. It's my channel. I can have a 
variety of things to talk about. I can do, you know, advice and relationship stuff and sex stuff, hair stuff, fashion stuff, makeup stuff. So just because I'm mostly known for hair doesn't mean I'm just going to do hair on my channel. A lot of people think that that's all I'm going to do forever and ever and it's not. Most of the time when I do like um, hair only, people will say, you know, that's repetitive, do something else. So I always try to throw a little bit of extra stuff in there just to, you know, make your channel seem more interesting and show other things that you can do. I'm using my MAC Zone Fast Black Lash just to add a coat of mascara before I apply my lashes. I also wanted to talk to you girls about, you know, confidence and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people always say to me, I, you're so confident for a girl your size and yada, yada, yada. Sometimes I take offense to that because, sometimes I take a little bit of offense to that because I'll think like, well, why should I be confident at my size? Like, every girl should feel confident in something about herself. If it's not her looks, it should be... You know, just something. I just don't want people feeling like it's a, it's only one type of girl that should walk around with confidence. I mean, no matter what size you are, what race, what skin tone, what type of hair you have, you have to have confidence. And me, just like every girl, I go through insecurities, I go through weight issues, I go through hair issues, uh, family issues, life issues in general. We're women and all of us are gonna go through similar struggles, so just try to help and lift other girls you know try to give girls uh more com compliments instead of just bashing a female for every little thing like just telling somebody you look pretty today or i like your hair or, i like your outfit can really make a person today so even on social media just make sure you watch what you say just being hurtful to a person you don't know what you might do to that person you could actually hurt their confidence even more or some people just hurt themselves after they see so much hate online. So yeah, I I couldn't imagine being a teenager right now at this time and age with the social media because I can just imagine, I can just imagine the drama, okay, at school. Like, it's probably nuts because people are super hurtful, you know? They'll just say any and everything to you and talk about you no matter what you do. I'm finding it is hell hard to do my makeup and talk to y'all. But yeah, word of advice to all the girls out there that maybe want to start a YouTube channel or things like that. Make sure you're getting into YouTube for the right reasons. If you're getting onto YouTube to, for a few free bundles or some free makeup or whatever the case may be, your channel probably won't grow because you're getting into it looking for something. You have to truly love sitting here putting yourself on camera because you people are gonna talk about you like it doesn't matter how beautiful you are you're gonna get negative backlash anyone that knows me knows i'm like the most sensitive and not necessarily private but i'm very i don't know cautious with information that i share and i kind of stay to myself so I, back then when i started youtube i wanted to start it to kind of help myself get out of my shell and it has really helped me with just like overall confidence and you know being around a new crowd or just doing new things because before like i'm telling you guys i wouldn't know i'm not going around a whole bunch of people i don't know or talking to people i don't know let alone getting on camera when i was um in grammar school high school whatever I don't have any pictures to ever show you guys because I do not like taking pictures. I still kind of don't like taking pictures unless I take them myself. But I never liked taking pictures. And it wasn't necessarily a confidence thing. It was just they never came out right. So I don't have any pictures. I don't even have my prom pictures no more. Like um, Ricky parents and my parents have uh, like, you know, the main picture we took. But all the pictures like... I took myself, my digital camera, like, I don't have any of those pictures no more. One, because my computer got messed up, and two, because I just destroyed them, because I thought I looked so bad. Like, if I could go back and redo prom, I wouldn't even wear that dress. Like, I have this really fitted mermaid red dress, because that year, 08, at the Grammys, everybody had on red dresses. So I wanted my dress to be Grammy inspired and I got it from um I got it 
some peaches or something like that. I don't remember where I got it. But it was a really pretty dress, but I don't know. If I was just to redo it, I would have did something so basic. I probably would have wore a black dress or something. I don't know. And I just spent so much money on that dress and I, all this money on limos and all that stuff when truthfully, you guys, nobody ever sees your car. Like, the only time we see your car is, um, only time we see the car is uh, in the pictures. Like, nobody outside sees your car unless they come to see you off. So much That's money it. Is wasted for palm. Ugh. Oh my god, I would have, like, honestly kept my money. And me and Ricky could have went on a freaking cruise or a trip or something. Like, it was such a waste of money. So these are the eyes. Pretty basic, pretty simple. Nothing out of the ordinary. I usually like my makeup every day. Just plain and just like this. Uh, it usually works the best for me. I'm just going to put a little bit of my mascara on my eyelashes. Just so they can pop a little bit more. And this is just gonna help my under eyes look like I'm what wide awake, okay? And being a brown skin girl, I don't really use um, white eyeliner in my waterline because it just looks so fake. So I like to use a nice neutral type of color. Now I'm gonna add my foundation. I'm using the MAC Mineralize moisture foundation in the color nw47 and i'm going to apply it with my beauty blender it is damp so i really like this foundation in the winter because my skin gets uh really dry but it does it does uh get oily as well it just helps balance everything out because when you're oily your face still needs oil and moisture you just can't be dry faced and expect your oiliness to go away your face is only oily because it's trying to it's trying to produce moisture that it's not receiving so yeah and you guys i have been using the fashion fair vantex I've been using it on my neck, and my neck is it's coming along. It's actually lightened up a lot. It's almost the same color as my chest because I do have a, a bit of neck discoloration. I don't know. My neck is just darker than my body, and it's not a health issue. It's not anything like that. It's been like that since I've been a baby girl, and yeah, when I was little, I would put um, my, <laughs> my grandma would put Ambi on me and lemons and all type of stuff trying to lighten me up but yeah it never worked so uh yeah I'm surprised this Vanex stuff is actually working I actually like it I like the finish of the foundation it gives me a nice glow I just really wish my neck was like the same color as my face and arms and body it's so ridiculous I got a case of the dark kneecaps too, so I be putting I've been putting this stuff on my knees as well. But since they are so dark, it's probably gonna take a lot of time for those to um, lighten up. And under my eyes, I'm just gonna apply my Prep and Prime highlighter and bright forecast from MAC. And I know this stuff looks super light, but I'm telling you, it blends right in. It doesn't look light at all. Well, I look crazy, okay? Oh my God, it's so hard to talk to you guys and do makeup. It's ridiculous. So yeah, guys, my camera died. I had to go get my other battery, so I don't even remember where I left off. I think, I don't know what I was talking about, probably YouTube or something. But I was talking about YouTube. But um, under my eyes, I'm going to be using my Derma Blend Setting Powder. This is in the color Warm Chiffon. Looks like that. It's like a nice little brownish yellow color. I'm just going to apply a tad bit under each eye just for more highlight. Not nothing heavy. Supernatural. I hope I'm in focus and you guys can see me. 
So remaining product, I just brush it all over my face because it's translucent and it doesn't have much color. Now I'm just gonna add a little contour to my face. I like to use the color Teak by Fashion Fair. And this is their cream foundation stick. I think this is the darkest color they offer. You always wanna blend out your contour. You don't want harsh, dark lines. Now for my face, I'm gonna take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in Deep Dark. I'm just gonna apply this all over just to set my face. I almost forgot to add mascara to my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna be using my Becker Highlighter in Opal. And I'm just gonna put a little bit down the bridge of my nose, just for a little bit of highlight. So it just gives my skin this beautiful glow. So that's pretty much it for the face. So I wanted to know what were you guys gonna be doing for Christmas? You know, what you want for Christmas? I don't really want much for Christmas, like, but then every year I'm like that. I never really want nothing because I feel like Christmas is more so for like kids or if you have kids, which I don't, so yeah, but um, I don't really want anything for Christmas, you guys. Maybe like some new Uggs or something, I don't know, but I'm just not in a Christmas spirit. Ever since my, um, my aunt passed, like Christmas just been blah. I did buy a tree and try to vlog it and stuff, vlog me putting it up, but that didn't work. So these little chit chats is as close as I'm gonna get to vlogging. And I just used some black lip liner on my lips. I'm about to apply the color Sand by MAC. This is how the color Sand looks with a little bit of black lip liner. I honestly feel like MAC have been bullshitting with a lipstick. <laughs> this is Sin. This is their new color runner from the Nasty Girl collection. Okay. And this is Living Legend. All these colors look damn similar. They're all matte. And they're all pretty similar. They're different, but for the most part, they're like the same color. Like, come on, MAC. Y'all could do better. Y'all gonna give us all these wine red, cherry red colors, like, and I always buy my makeup online, so I never know that they're gonna be similar in color until I get them, so I need to start going to the Mac store, but every time I get there, everything's always sold out, so ordering online has always been the best method for me, but maybe not so much, because I feel like I got 10 repeated colored lipsticks, so yeah, Mac is just becoming so boring. So, pretty much done my face. Really easy, really simple. This is just what I'll do on an everyday basis. And my hair is looking like who done it. And yeah, this is how it looks. Um, and it needs a co-wash, okay? Have a co-wash, it have anything. Today, I don't really feel like co-washing it either. Uh, what I've been doing to it mostly is uh, wearing this part in a ponytail and just putting water on it. So now I'm about to do my little refresher mix because I don't really feel like washing my hair. And I like to use some water. And I like to use the Suave Keratin Fusion uh, Conditioner. I got this from Walmart or Target. It works really bomb for the naturally curly hair. And I'm just gonna put it in the bottle. A little bit of the conditioner. Now I'm just mixing up the water and conditioner. Okay, you should have a nice little white mixture. And now I just spray my hair. Add some of my eye. Now I just spray my hair lightly. I like to basically concentrate on my ends. And 
and then I just rake my hands through my hair. I really don't have to use combs and brushes when I'm refreshing this hair, because this hair is so bomb, like I can just rake my fingers through it and it's, it's perfect. I really don't know what to talk about. Like, I'm such a bad conversation starter, I think. I would probably need like a topic and then I'll be able to elaborate on it. But I don't really know what to talk about, you guys. I'm trying to think about some of the questions y'all are always asking me. But I don't, I can't, I don't really know. This video is probably gonna be dead freaking boring. Boring. Okay, I can think of something. People um, always ask me what type of camera and lighting I use. I use the um, Canon T3i with the 18-55 millimeter lens. And I use a Diva ring light that you can get from Stellar Lighting Systems or DVD store. <sighs> And that's all I use. I don't really have like special lights and stuff. This is all I use. And that's it. So for the most part, you guys, my hair is pretty much done. I'm done. Yeah. This is how it looks. Want me to spin? edges um already done all I did last night was uh wash and flat iron them and that's it y'all it's not really a lot to do like the blending is easy because you only have a little bit of leave out and this hair is my hair addict online virgin Indian curly hair I have in four bundles uh two 26s 24 and a 22 and I did cut my hair my hair was extremely long and I had to cut it because it was just too long for the flip over style and I do have a little bit of leave out probably about that much like the little tiniest bit I'm probably gonna have to take my hair out in a little while because my track is starting to show because it's growing all the way back but uh, yeah this is a wig that I made that I sold on I sold this wig down and yeah I love it but uh, you guys are asking for a longer video, so this will definitely be long as hell, okay? But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, ooh, well, I was going to show you guys my pink sweatshirt, but uh, my hair has gotten it wet, but it's okay, it'll dry. That's all I have on is my pink sweatshirt with my pink leggings, and yeah, I'm getting ready to go to Target, so... This is my getting ready with me. Y'all, this is how I dress most of the time every day. I don't really dress up. This is me. This is how I usually do it, okay? Yeah. So, let me know if you guys like these bathroom get ready with me videos, okay? This seems hella throwback to me doing videos in my bathroom. This feels like 2010 all over again, okay?